Hey everyone, Tara Melton here with Magnet Forensics. Today I'm going to walk through how to create templates for both exporting specific artifact types of interest as well as custom column configurations for exporting. I'm going to focus on exporting load files in Axiom Cyber, although the same workflow can be applied to both Axiom and Axiom Cyber and will work in most export types that you choose. So I'm in Axiom Examine, and first I'm going to start by reviewing how to create templates for your exports. So I'm going to go up to the Tools menu and hit uh, Manage Export Report Settings. Now if someone else in your lab already created a template to share, you can import that here. But for now I'm going to create a new export template. So I'm interested in Office 365 artifacts for this example, so I'm going to name it O365. And when I click on Create, a pop-up window will allow me to configure this template. So for this I'm going to choose Load File, and I'll hit Next. Now I can go through and determine which artifacts I want to be exported with this particular template. So I'm going to navigate to Cloud and select the Office 365 artifacts that are of interest to me. When I click Next, there are additional other configurations to set depending on the type of export you've selected. So for load files specifically, you can decide to give it a prefix to your native and text files as part of your load file export, and also add a certain number of padding to each supporting file as well. Next, I'm going to do a column configuration template. Again, this is uh, going to be for the Office 365 artifact, so I'm going to name it accordingly. And I'm going to focus quickly on the email artifact for Office 365, but again, you can configure all of your artifacts as you wish for each template. This can be a really useful feature to help streamline and standardize your exports. So for example, for emails being exported into load files, it may be useful to deselect the body column of your emails because the email body of your artifacts will already be in your native and text file folders in your export, and then you can keep that .dat file of your load file export a little bit more manageable. Not really applicable to load file exports, but if you wanted to use this template for other types of exports as well, like CSV or HTML, you can choose to sort those columns in the export, you can do ascending or descending order, I can also stack different columns to sort by if I'd like to do that, and I can even rearrange the column order as well. Now that my templates are created, I'm going to go ahead and actually create an export from my case. So I'm going to go up to the File menu, select Create Export Report, and I'm going to choose load file, I'll hit next, and now where it asks for items to include, I'm going to go be able to go ahead and use that template that I just created from this drop down menu. Note that you can also manage your templates from here as well, so when I click on that you'll notice that same screen is going to pop up if I wanted to configure more templates. When I go to next you'll notice that the only artifacts selected um, on the screen here are from that template that I selected. Next are some additional configurations that you can select in this export, such as which columns to include here at the bottom. Since I have a template for that as well, I'm going to select specific columns only and use this drop down again to select that template that I just created. Next you'll see that the prefix and padding digits from the export template carried over here, so there's no additional configuration that's required. Note that load file exports are cur currently in beta as of version 4.9, so if you try it out we would love to hear your feedback. Now I'll go ahead and create my export. Once that finishes, I'm going to open that window, and here you can see my load file export, which includes those supporting uh, native and text files. We hope that this workflow for creating export templates helps with all of your reporting and sharing needs in your investigations. We hope you try it out. Thanks for watching.